Thanks for tuning in to my playthrough of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. It's an honor to do a playthrough of a mainline Pokemon game for your enjoyment, so kick back, relax, and have a great day. When you play with the Joy-Con controller, attach the strap as shown. Presented by Game Freak. It's not polite to call people freaks. Hi, Pikachu! You look a lot more realistic than you normally do. Uh-oh. Ooh, you're, that, you're getting very, very close. Very close. And he popped out of the TV. Is that not a little... Oh, we're going in the TV. Okay. All right. Well, uh, we could play in English, Espanol, I'm uh, fr fran Francais, Dutch, Italiano, and a bunch of language. You know, we should play this in Chinese. I think that would be a lot more difficult, and we're not going to do that. We're going to play this in English, and we're going to begin the game. My name is Brian Saviano, a.k.a. Bricks O'Brien. This is Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu Edition on the Nintendo Switch. I got the Pokeball Plus Edition. It was $100. This is the first time I'm playing a Pokemon game in a video series. A full, authentic, real Pokemon series. And guys and girls, there is so much to talk about. So much information to go over. And I just got back from a convention in New Hampshire. And that was, that was a ride. So we have a lot to go over. So, uh... Hope you're having a great day. My day's going all right. I'm wearing my new sweatshirt. Uh, official merchandise, baby. Boom. So this is Professor Oak. Um, he is the Pokemon trainer mass... Not trainer. He's a Pokemon professor. And the entire point of the Pokemon games is to go after each of the Pokemon. Get them into your Pokedex and take it from there. Um, you're trying to catch them all. Pokemon. So there's all these different variants of characters you can choose between. Uh, I just look the closest to the, the standard avatar, so we're going to go like that. Uh, how about a name, see? Well, I'm going to go with Brian. I could go with any name I want to. Um, they never speak your name. They only have it in, like, text boxes and stuff, so it's not like they're going to be able to say, Oh, hi, Brian. It's going to be just whatever you type in there. And... You know, it's, it's, I don't know if there's a, I hope there's a profanity filter. I think there is. So don't try to type in something awful. Don't do it. Just type your name or your friend's name or whatever. So this boy here is your friend and rival who has grown up right next door to you. Well, I've never seen this man before in my life, but I'm going to take your word for it. My rival's name. My rival's name. So I, I did a recording of three videos of this already. This is my second time doing it. I wasn't satisfied with it. I named him at first Justin, but I don't think it's that that fun, you know, because I, I I know a Justin, and he's a cool guy, but I want I want to make this a little more intimate. Someone that I know personally, one of my one of my closest connections I have to people ever, right? I want it to be uh, someone I can uh, bring up time and time again, who is a Pokemon fan, who has since uh, uh, not played any games recently, who knows if he'll actually end up watching this, but I'm going to name him after my cousin Brandon uh, because he is not my rival by any means whatsoever, not even a little bit. But, um, you know, I think it's just fun to have his name in the game. That way he gets a little bit of a shout out. So shout out to you, Brandon, if you're watching. Hello. You need to come by the office and see the new Pokemon setup. I see him. His name is Brandon. And this is Pika Pika. Brian, my boy. Your very own Pokey Tail is about to unfold, oh boy. So, I got, there's so much info that I tried to convey the first time, and it didn't work. So, I'm going to try my very best to explain as much of this game as I can, and uh, it's, uh, it's so much. So, bear with me here. We, with every Pokemon adventure, you start off in your bedroom, realizing that you are an actual human being who has taken human form. Uh, you are no longer a sentient game system, uh, and you're able to walk around and do whatever you want. So this is the first time a Pokemon game has appeared a full-length 
featured Pokemon game, a proper Pokemon game, has been in high definition. It looks super duper crispy. Uh, usually you can go to the computer to get an item, but I don't think we can in this case. And fun fact, every single... Well, that's weird. Uh, every single game that you go to, uh, whatever console is most newest in the game, um, will be featured in your Pokemon game. So in this case, it's a Switch. And I say it's weird because I'm using my right red Joy-Con right now, and the right red Joy-Con is missing. So... If that is the attention to detail they have in this game, that's pretty cool. You select your controller every time before you boot up the game, for real. So, cool. Uh, yeah, you start off in your room, and you go downstairs. I'm coming up, up and at him. Oh, hi, Brandon. Yay. Oh, it's in all caps. I didn't mean to do that. What's going on? You've got one weird look on your face. Ah, uh, never mind that. I could have waited any longer, so I came to get you. Today's finally the big day. We're finally going to get our first Pokemans from Professor Oak and become a real trainer. But before we do, you read the email. What is this, 2007? We don't communicate by email anymore. So, uh, do we need to read this? Is that a thing? There's an email from Brandon Hey, so you need to know as a trainer. Yeah, okay. So, I've been playing Pokemon, I can confidently say, since before most of you were born, which makes me sound like I'm 40, but, or, or older, not, not saying 40 year olds are not young or old or whatever, but it, it's, it's been a long time, so, I know everything that happens in this game, for the most part, because this is a remake-ish of Pokemon Yellow on the Game Boy slash Game Boy Color, so... This just deals with the original 151 Pokemon. Uh, when I was in elementary school, I grew up on Generation 4 around 2006. So that is my favorite generation. But here we have uh, the original 151, and it's in high def, and it's going to be great. So Professor Oak is getting jumped by a bunch of Pidgeys here. I guess not. Never mind. They go away. Or if it isn't Brian. Well, if it isn't Brian. Well, my rival and Oak sound very similar, so I gotta hammer down the voices a little more accurately here. So, oh boy, here's a Pikachu. What's this? What's this? So, that is a Pikachu. Uh, that Pikachu, oh boy, is going to be our partner throughout the entire game, presumably. Uh, you've encountered a wild Pikachu. Uh, my, my, I surely wouldn't have expected a Pikachu to appear around here, but since the opportunity has presented itself, so... This combines uh, traditional Pokemon as well as Pokemon Go mechanics, so if you've ever played it on your phone, which I have a lot. Um, let's see here. That was awful. That was awful. That was awful. Let's see here. What What is happening? Okay. How do I... Um, there we go. Nice. Um, the catching mechanics of Pokemon Go are uh, here. But the battle mechanics that aren't in Go and are a part of the actual game are in here too. So you're getting the simplicity of catching Pokemon, but you still have some of the battle mechanics there and actually keeps it uh, energizing for the uh, uh, veteran players such as myself. But um, this game is pretty fair weather in general. So what in the OMG Pikachu is inside of the Pokeball? Bouncing all around. Um, top five unsolved mysteries of the world is what the inside of a Pokeball actually looks like. Uh, people have no idea. We have absolutely no idea what um, that looks like. And hopefully it's a nice paradise and not just a, a concrete box. I would assume it's not that. So, wait, Brian, you caught y yourself? So, what you normally do is pick between Charmander, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur. When I first played the game, in the first three videos I did, you didn't get to do that. You just get Pikachu. So, can we... We ha Okay, so, I tried to go for left or right, and we can't do that. We have to go for the middle one. That's obviously Pikachu. So, I guess we go... We went slightly first person right there. Pika Pika! Uh-oh! There's Pikachu! And they're all so surprised. So, the thing is... I don't know if this is a universe where they don't know of the other Pokemon that exist, the other 700 of them, 
or they do or they don't or I, I don't know because they're acting like Pikachu is the, the first being ever or the first Pikachu to ever be seen like he says what a strange Pokemon indeed it sure doesn't like staying in one place so maybe because it's so rowdy and they haven't seen it before but that's all right so here's the thing uh, you give your Pokemon nicknames. Um, I thought about naming them after my actual real-life friends, but I thought that might be kind of weird because I'm using them in battle, and I don't do that ever. So uh, I'm going to, through, I think, the social medias thing, uh, ask people what I should name each of the Pokemon. So for Pikachu, this is a male Pikachu. You can tell by the tail. If it's, um, like, straight, then it's a, um, a male. But the female uh, Pikachu is in the shape of a heart. It's like two ovals. So that's how you can tell. It's actually rarer to get a female Pikachu starting out. I had that the first time I played through. Uh, and you can reset the game if you actually want a female Pikachu that badly. I'm indifferent. So what do I name this Pikachu? Um, uh, mm, I'm looking on my, my feed here trying to think of a name here let's see hmm hold on okay so I thought of an idea anybody who enjoys this series wants to see more is a fan of mine and what I do I'm going to put your name as Pokemon in the game but I'm gonna change it up a little bit not just your actual names I'm gonna make them like a spin on it so there's somebody out there named Ezra who is an awesome fan who sent me a Niffler pop figure okay so instead of calling the Pokemon Ezra, because like that's is a little weird, whatever. So his name is his name is Ezra. So I'm gonna say like Ezro Ez Ezro Ezro. That's because Ezro, you know, it's a little bit different. You know, I'm not gonna use people's names without consent, so it's fine. I I okay. So he got Eevee. So I think with whatever version you do, Pikachu or Eevee, your your rival will get the opposite. And what that third Pokemon is, I have no idea whatsoever. Could not tell you one bit. Uh, they, they don't they don't say. So, um, basically, Professor Oak, uh, he's gonna tell you, hey, I'm too lazy to go out there and actually do anything myself. I want you to go and find literally every Pokemon ever. And register it into this Pokedex thing here. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, there are, in this game, 153 Pokemon, I think. Um, there's forms called Alolan forms that are from the Pokemon Sun and Moon games that you can go after. Um, and you can also connect it to Pokemon Go. So once we connect it to Pokemon Go, I have about... 120 of 151. I've been playing it a ton. So, and also, there's a ton of, there's like dialogue going on here. I'm not going to be paying attention to it because I know what I'm doing. So, if you want to pay attention to that, you can. Um, so, we have to go basically to our first town and take it from there. Hi, Mom. Oh, how cute. Is this the one you got from the professor? Yes, it is. What? You caught it yourself? That's amazing. What should I call your new friend, Ezro? A lovely Pokemon. Pika, pika, pika. How energetic. I suppose this means you two will be setting off on an adventure today, all right? Thought this day might come soon. Yeah, cool. So now we have a town map. This is the uh, region called Kanto, the first region of Pokemon to ever be. Um, yeah. So this is the beginning of the game here. It's, um, it's, it's quite something. It looks beautiful. And if we go to... We don't have a bag... I'm pressing plus, it's not working. Oh no, we press. Oh, so this game only has two buttons. You have, because you're supposed to use the Pokeball Plus, we'll get into that later. But A and B. Okay, so A. Nope. Is it X? It's X. Okay, X and A. So let's see. We go to our bag here. Um, town map. So you can see what the entire region looks like. Um, it's pretty big. So what I believe we're going to do is go up this way. Go all the way this way, and then try to go this way, but we can't. And, oh no, we're going to go down that way. We're going to explore the entire region. There's plenty of stuff to do here, so buckle up. It's going to be a long playthrough. So, uh, we cannot connect to Pokemon Go yet. I haven't been able to do that because I tried to do this the first time. you got to connect through Bluetooth, and it's 
kind of a pain, not really. So what's cool about this game is that you can see the Pokemon in the overworld uh, walking around and flying around. So you can avoid Pokemon encounters in the tall grass. You couldn't do that before without getting caught every 30 seconds. So now we're going to encounter this Pidgey willingly to show you what Pidgey is like. So, again, if you want to reach out to me on the socials and uh, uh, you want to say, hey, I want this Pidgey named after me, well then, there you go. Um, let's see here. Nope, that's not it. Um, go. Why is this not working? And then go. We'll go. What? What? Go. Why? This is so much more difficult than doing it with the Pokeball. There we go. Nice. Okay. So, you have tons of Pokeballs, tons of items, tons of literally everything. It's very easy to catch Pokemon. You just got to be good at it and, and practice. And I've been playing Pokemon Go since 2016 when it first came out. So I'm pretty good at it. Very docile. If attacked, it will often kick up sand to protect itself rather than fight back. So that's Pidgey. So what we're going to do is try to catch every single Pokemon and encounter every single Pokemon in the game. So we're going to go for Rattata here. Um, we'll go after them. And there's going to be a lot of grinding off camera to get to the proper levels and whatnot. Um, let's see here. No, don't try to fight back, you. Stop it. Stop it. Go. There we go. Nice. So, I don't want to repeat Pokemon over and over and over again. So, it, you get experience for catching Pokemon, defeating trainers in battle. Um, and you learn new moves as you level up. And there's, like, levels in here as well as CP, like in Pokemon Go. So, I'm not sure the conversion rate, but we'll figure it out. We'll chew on anything with its fangs. If you see one, you can be certain that 40 more live in the area. Rattata has been added to our party. So, yeah, we'll try to encounter one of every Pokemon just for the sake of doing it. I think you... Ooh, Oddish. Um, I think you still can encounter Pokemon in the tall grass without having them see them. So, like, even if you just happen to run into one, you'll um, still be there. That was excellent. Cool. Which I think that helps with our odds of catching the Pokemon. And yes, it does. Cool. So you'll gain more points that way, too. So uh, lots of ways to gain more experience. So that is 50. Cool. And we earned a Pineapp Berry, which means... Um, oh, we learned Quick Attack. Cool. Um, that helps us with um, making the Pokemon less erratic when catching them. So it's a lot of... It's a ton of information. I'm sorry. So what we're going to do... Is go to the first town here. Oh boy, Pikachu, hi. What happened? What you do? What you got? Pika, Pika, Pika. Ah! You got a raspberry from Ezro. Cool. So uh, a raspberry helps uh, make catching Pokemon even easier. So if you happen to find a, a legendary Pokemon or something, you uh, can catch that a lot more easily. What did you find? Hello. Hi. What's up? Bega, bega, bega. Happily staring. Oh, staring at the flowers. That's so cute. Okay, hey, buddy. The signature trademark for every game is is going to bring the parcel from the Pokemon to Professor Oak. But what's cool about this game is you just go there and do you want to head straight back to the lab? Yes, I do. There's fast traveling in Pokemon. Did not realize that would be a thing, but of course it is now because... I guess walking back to Pallet Town is just so hard for the for the Generation X kids to walk back. It's so, so much time. So, you got to bring it back in. Oh, boy. You are going on my shoulder. Oh, that's cute. Cool. So, I think Pikachu slash Eevee will stay on your shoulder no matter what. So... I think you can remove them from your party, though, so I don't know if Pikachu will go away. I, I don't think it goes away. I think it stays, so Pikachu just rides on you like that. You notice Eevee doesn't ride on his shoulder there, so yeah. Uh, got a ton of raspberries, which, again, help with uh, making the Pokemon easier to catch. Hopefully, we don't need those anytime soon, because the Pokemon we're going to catch are going to be relatively uh, easy Pokemon in general. 
So you'll find that wild Pokemon love the berries and they love to put up a fight. If you decide to catch lots of Pokemon training, you'll still have fun either way because it's all about fun and happiness here over here, right? Yes, indeed. Wait up. Come on, Brian. You, you, you do know you can do more with Pokemon than just catch them, right? You're a trainer. You can have Pokemon battles with other trainers, too. I'll show you exactly what I mean. It's battle time. It's time to do 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 That's the wrong anime. Challenged by Pokemon trainer Brando. Meow meow. There he goes. That is a Eevee, a male Eevee, and you can tell because his hair is a little spiky in the front. It's a little, little froof, a little froof in the front. So we're gonna fight with Thunder Shock, Lightning, and the Thunder, Thunder, Thunder. And, oh, that does a good amount of damage. Cool. So, Pikachu is, a, is an electric-type Pokemon. So, electric-type moves are its specialty. Um, each Pokemon has a type and a weakness to that type, typically. So, Pikachu's weakness is... Uh, I forget what is weak to electric. Or what's super effective against electric. Um, I know if you use a electric type move on a water type Pokemon that means it's super effective because you ever hear I don't know if you've ever heard it before but like the whole hey don't throw a toaster in the bathtub yeah because it'll electro it'll electrocute you so you don't do that um, Eevee's paralyzed and it doesn't matter because we won anyways so yeah um, Pikachu seems to be objectively more powerful than Eevee straight out the gate because Thundershock is really cool uh, Eevee, I think, only knows Quick Attack and Tackle and all that, so... Uh, Pidgey grew to level 5. Um, I don't think any of the Pokemon we have in our party we're actually going to use, so... Um, we don't really need to have them in our party right now. We got 120 Poke Dollars for winning. Uh, jeez. There I went mouthing off like that. I knew everything and I lost. How embarrassing. I should have trained up my Pokemon a bit more before battling like that, huh? battle again sometime he just won't quit throughout the entire game so that is the first episode of pokemon let's go pikachu i want to thank you guys and girls for listening watching and tuning in uh i'm going to talk a little bit about the pokeball plus what that gets you and why i don't really like it but i'll uh, i'll see you in the next episode thank you for watching and meowing it out bye